Timing of the sewing machine is a very important part of how the stitch is formed in the quilting machine. So to begin with, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and take the component parts off so that we can get in and see the different applications. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take the throat plate off. And so we have two separate screws that we're going to loosen. So we're going to take these off. So as we finish taking the last screw off, the throat plate just comes right off. And with the throat plate off, then we can see the whole hook assembly in underneath the throat plate itself. Now what we're going to do also is we're going to show you how to adjust the needle bar height. So we're going to need to take the three screws off for the cover plate. So we have one screw that's going to be in here, we have one screw here, and one screw here. So all three of these screws have to come off and the whole cover plate will come off. Okay, so, so now we've taken all three screws off and the whole cover plate will come right off the face of the machine. So now we've got the cover plate off and we have our throat plate off so that we can see all the mechanisms of our needle bar going up and down and how the hook is going to rotate. So what we're going to do at this point is we're actually going to show you hook timing. So we're going to go ahead and turn the machine around so that you can actually see the needle go in rotation. What we're going to do at this point is we're actually going to show where the needle is going to go down into the hook. So I'm turning the machine in counterclockwise rotation. That is the sewing rotation is counterclockwise. And you can see how the needle goes down into what we call the race area or what we call the basket. And the basket is not moving. It's being held by the position finger. The position finger actually has a little indentation here. And you'll notice how it rides in that little spot here. And so you can see how I'm rocking it back and forth, and that's keeping the whole basket in place. And that's where the bobbin case goes into. This part right here is actually the hook, and you're seeing the hook spin around. And at this point, you can see the hook point right here coming into relationship of the needle. So at this point, the hook point is coming right into the scarf of the needle and as you continue to go by the needle the needle now starts to rise up and the hook point goes completely around and that is one complete revolution on the needle point versus the hook point. What we're looking at here is the front part of the needle and I'm pointing to the eye of the needle this is very important when we're dealing with hook timing so this again is looking at the front of the needle now what we're going to do is we're going to show you a side picture. And you'll notice on the needle now we're looking directly from the side and you can actually see where the scarf is in the needle. The eye of the needle would be about in this location and you can kind of literally see where the indentation is. And this is what we call the scarf. This is very important for us as the hook is going to pass through this area for hook timing. This here is our hook point on the hook. So we're just showing you this so that you can actually see what it looks like and where it is in relation to um, the basket and the needle positioning finger. But this here is the hook point. You'll notice as I turn the hand wheel, it will rotate away from me. But this is the hook point that we're pointing to here. Some individuals, as you're looking at this, you're going to see what we call the needle guard, which is right here is a little bit confusing when we're talking, but this is what we call the needle guard. The needle guard comes all the way around and guards actually the hook point in relation. But you'll notice right here is actually the hook point. And you'll notice that the hook point is right on the needle. So here we got the needle and we have the hook point. And you'll notice that this is actually perfect timing in the sewing machine. The eye of the needle is below the hook point, and the hook point is above the eye of the needle. And so if you'll notice, as I move the machine backwards, now I'm actually sewing and turning the, the hook point where it's coming in relation to the needle. It's actually coming in, and it's going to bypass the scarf, and it's going to go right past the scarf and pick up our thread. We're just showing you this as an illustration that I just backed the hook up again. It's actually coming in rotation, and the eye of the needle is just below the hook point, and it's passing the eye of the needle and picking up the thread. We don't have thread located in it right now. We're just showing you how the proper setting is on the machine. 